sorry. What, what is, Mister? Mister, first of all, you don't touch him. Oh. What what is his name? What what is his name? I'm sorry. What is his name? What what? what? Yeah, I have a card. I'm a press. What what you just did to my colleague? This is assault. Alex Avalabois for Ribbon News and I'm currently in Montreal because today Stephen Gilbo along with Valérie Plant was holding a press conference about uh, housing affordability. We came all the way down here, we enter and everything escalated really quickly. First of all, they asked my press card what I did that they registered me on the paper sheet I went inside of the room but she asked that to Guillaume and he did provide it the independent press gallery card she say to wait a minute she keep him outside of the room until two big men came and expulsed him pretty violently and I'm showing you some image you will see you would not believe that this is assault and the man refused to identify himself to me he said that he's the owner but is it that true and I was in the room I was in the press room and I went out to say what are you doing this is my cameraman he is here to help me out and suddenly I was not allowed anymore. They exposed me with two undercover SPVM agents. Sorry, Mr. What, what, what is going on? Sorry. What, what is, Mr. Mr. First of all, you don't touch him. Oh! What, what is, is his name? What, what is his name? I'm sorry, what is his name? What, what, you have a card to be I have a card. I'm a press. What, what you just did to my colleague? This is assault. Who are you? No, no. Who are you first? I will go out, but I need your name. And who, out, no, please? not before he tell me his name. I'm sorry, you just assault my colleague, and, and I will not. You just assaulted. I have it on no. camera, and I will take your you name right now. Peace, madam. You will take. I will take your name right now. Could you go out? I want your name right now. Absolutely. Madam, please. Now, what is your name? Please, madam. I don't want to assault you. Max I just what? want you to be out, please. Esperanza. And what is your position? <laughs> Are you a Donc c'est même que vous traitez les journalistes indépendants ici au Québec. On a une carte de presse. On est accrédité avec la presse indépendante du Canada. On est ici pour la conférence de presse. Et vous, vous décidez que vous savez que au Canada on a une un endroit privé où vous avez une conférence de presse qui est ouverte à tous les journalistes. Mais c'est, c'est juste réservé à... Sur invitation, j'ai reçu les, la lettre pour venir ici. Donc, euh, qu'est-ce que vous dites par invitation? Vous l'envoyez par courriel directement aux journalistes? On va vous demander qui c'est. Non, mais moi, pas avant que vous me disiez c'est qui ce monsieur-là. C'est le propriétaire de l'endroit. OK. Le propriétaire de l'endroit, c'est quoi son nom? Correctement. Bien, je vais devoir l'avoir parce qu'il y a agressé mon collègue. Ça non, mais on, 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 on va en parler ensemble. Vous avez appelé la police pour... À cause qu'on a des... des... Écoutez, vous ne pouvez pas me toucher, premièrement. Non, monsieur. Vous ne pouvez pas me toucher, mais on veut savoir c'est qui ce monsieur-ci. Des agents de sécurité, vous avez des contacts physiques avec nous. Désolé, je peux vous couper. Avez-vous un badge, vous savez, vous savez que... Vous savez que... On a... vous avez-vous un badge pour vous identifier? Ils n'ont pas de badge. Est-ce que je peux avoir vos badges, vos, euh, vos noms? Et vous, avez le, vous êtes dans l'obligation de me donner votre nom et votre badge. So what happened is we just came here. We are journalists, independent journalists. We came here for the press conference. Everything went well until we say the name of our news outlet, that is Ribbon News. 
they actually started to call the cop and the SPVM to come and expose us from the event, saying that this is a private event. And I show you some image. One of the men, we don't know who he is, he said that he's the owner of the place, assaulted Guillaume by pushing him outside of the building. This is outrageous. We have a freedom of press here in Canada and they are not respecting it. So we came all the way here because first of all, Valérie Plante is holding that press conference about housing affordability. When we know that since 2017, her administration had blocked more than 24,000 apartment unit construction. J'ai pris la décision de, de stopper, d'arrêter un projet immobilier qui aurait détruit les derniers grands espaces verts de Montréal et qui aurait encouragé la, la venue d'à peu près 10 000 voitures. And Stephen Gilbo is all the way here, and I just wanted to ask him what he would say to Danielle Smith, who she's asking his resignation over the 2030 net zero gold agenda. But if that's the only way that we can build reliable power because of the uncertainty that Stephen Guibault has created with his ridiculous net zero electricity regulations, that's what we're, what we're going to have to do. Trying to dictate to us how to pull our resources out of the ground, how to manage our natural resources, how to, how to manage our electricity grid, that's what Justin Trudeau has done. So I'm trying to get him fired, and I would love your help on that. Yeah! You want to know the truth? Climate change is real. That's the truth. You want to know the truth? Climate change is impacting Canadians all over the country, including farmers from coast to coast, Mr. Speaker. You want to know the truth about climate change? It's costing Canadians billions of dollars. But unfortunately, it would not be possible today because we've been first exposed. And this is really sad today for the freedom of the press and freedom of expression, especially here in Montreal. Oh, Valérie Plante aussi. You condemn the genocide, Mr. Gilbaud. You condemn the genocide in Gaza, Mr. Gilbaud. Your government's enabling a genocide in Gaza. Will you condemn that, Mr. Gilbaud? Israel, in the first two months, released more greenhouse gas emissions than the 20 uh, most vulnerable countries for climate disturbances. You condemn that, Mr. Gilbaud. Mr. Gilbo, come on, I know you can see me. Stop just looking away. Come on, Mr. Gilbo. Come on, don't send your police to get rid of me. Answer the question, Mr. Gilbo. Hi, Mom. Mr. Gilbo, answer the question. What just happened now? You can see the empty room where the press conference was supposed to take place. They moved it somewhere else because the men were screaming in the window about the genocide in Gaza and also they called two cops to come here. This is hilarious because we pay police officers with our tax for them to come and to block the entrance of independent journalists who just try to do their job. And you need to remember that not long time ago, Stephen Gilbo lost in court against us for blocking us on Twitter and he needed to pay $20,000 to us. And now the court have judged that he needs to pay us for blocking us on Twitter, but he can block us from press conference here in Montreal. Can you believe that? You're sending weapons! You're sending weapons! Support an arms embargo, Mr. Gilbo! Bring it in arms embargo! So now we have like one, two, three, three um, SPVM car with a, a lot of police officers for me, Guillaume, my camera person, and that man that is actually yelling for the genocide in, in Gaza. So now what I can see is like six different officers for three people outside of the building. So I just did a quick research online since it's a social um, housing for people in need. And straight when you go in their website, you can see that they're subs they are subsidized by Canada Service and Quebec Service. So it's actually a place that is paid with our tax, that is public, that we are actually allowed to go inside. 
Don't forget to go over rebelfieldreports.com and chip in generously because you can see how they are so afraid of us to just ask simple question. If you want to keep us there and support our journalism, please don't forget to chip in what you can at rebelfieldreports.com.